Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Warband. Rawr, rawr, with lots of the, the, the you know, the, the fighting and the swords and the, the arrows and the arrows. Uh, <laughs> uh, we just thought of Joe Hills there. Arrows. Got the arrows. Um, right, anyway. So, I think this episode's objective is taking Heron Hall. Uh, will be the new Lord of Heron. Actually, it's Heron Goth Castle. Heron Goth. And Count Devlian's party is in there. After we roughed him up, he retreated back in there. So, I think we can take this place. And if I lose some troops in, in taking it, there's actually plenty here uh, in the prison that I can free and take some of those guys. Hmm. Okay, and then after that... Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Alright, so I'm going to go seize this place and let's see what happens here. See if I can take it. I did go back and deposit that sword sister I had in my party and uh, switched out some troops. Okay, so this is going to be a siege tower. That means this is going to take a little bit of extra time. Hmm. Do do do. Asigan Castle. Where's Asigan at? Is it on the border here? Yeah, I know. Okay, thank you. Is Asigan over here? I don't know where Asigan even is. Oh, they're wrecking my they're wrecking my stuff. I definitely think it would be a good idea to uh, patrol and capture some lords. Oh my good lord, look at that. Look at that group right there. Are they going to attack me or are they just going to wander around? N no, I reject that offer. Is this done yet? Good lord, this is taking forever. And these guys can't work up the nerve to attack me. Okay, let's wait until tomorrow. Okay, it's in the afternoon. We can go ahead and lead our soldiers in the assault. Okay. So this should be pretty easy to take down. Alright. Let's switch over to the bow. And I think I'll get up on the siege tower here. Now, that's one thing about the siege tower battles I have noticed. Is that I can get up here and snipe from this. And it's actually a little easier to shoot from up here uh, than it is... Uh, from on foot, because you're up a little higher. Although you do have to contend with shooting past these like little wooden planks and stuff in the way. But at the same time, it does offer protection, so that's cool. So I'm gonna start sniping these guys here. Did I get him? I got that guy. Let's see if I can get this guy over here. Yep, got him. Got him. So. Something I got something really cool happened to me today, and I suppose I'll tell you guys about it. Uh, I finally got my 100,000 subscriber reward package from YouTube. They've shipped out. Uh, well, well, let me tell you this: when on your when you're a YouTube partner and you break 100,000 subscribers, you get some cool swag from YouTube, and that's the actual correct definition of swag, and not this new crap the high school kids came up with. Uh, swag is bonus little material. Uh, that you get from companies for promotions. Uh, and basically I get a, uh, a silver play button plaque that I can put on my wall. And when I break 100,000 subscribers, I get... Uh, no, a, a million subscribers gets a gold play button. Uh, but So I'm, I, since, since I broke 100,000, I'm going to get the silver play button. I get my uh, YouTube director's chair. They send you a little uh, folding chair like director's chair it's got the YouTube logo on it uh, so all that's pretty cool but I also got a uh, $500 gift card to B&H online store and they sell mostly I thought they were a camera store and they are they, they you know hold a sec that music is a little loud oh there we go this is actually interesting music I've never heard this before uh, anyway but I thought they were just a camera store, but they actually sell other stuff. Uh, they sell anything to do with video editing, which includes computers and computer accessories like video cards. Uh, so I have a little Asus Ascensio computer is what I have. I could probably really uh, buy a new one, but uh, I don't quite have the money to just go out and... and uh, I really want maybe a Falcon Northwest computer. But you do pay a premium for their build quality. They're very expensive. 
Uh, and I'd one day maybe like to save up and get one of those, but I guess that's far in the future. Uh, I'd have to save up a lot of money for that. Uh oh. And so anyway, I got a $500 gift card to this online store, and I saw that they sold video cards. And the computer I have now, it's um, what is it? It's a uh, uh, my computer right now is an Asus CM6850-7. So uh, CM6850-7. Uh, so it's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, the weak link, though, is the graphics card. It has a uh, GT530, and that's that's a very low-end uh, card. Uh, it gets the job done, and that's about it. Uh, I have to run a lot of games at lower, maybe medium settings if I'm lucky. Uh, thankfully, a game like Mountain Blade Warband is not very demanding. Um, so, damn it. Get out of my way, guys. I'm trying to shoot people. And I'm also trying to talk about my computer. So, I actually bought a uh, a power supply so I can run an upgraded video card. Because I think the power supply on this computer, I don't know if it's that great. It's like 300 and something watts. And to run a, a powerful video card, you need probably you know 600 watts at the very least. And that's what I got. I got a Corsair 600 watt power supply unit. And... Uh, and using this $500 gift card, I put that towards getting a really uh, high-end video card. I actually got a um, uh, G uh, NVIDIA GTX 780, which is the top of the line, except for the Titan. But I think that at, at $1,000, the Titan is really overpriced, especially for the modest performance gains you get over the 780. Uh, so I got the 780 because I figured... It was kind of the, the sweet spot between price and performance. It's like the, se the second best, you know? And a lot of times when you're buying computer stuff, the second best is usually where you want to be at. Because get, getting, getting the absolute best, you get kind of... You get really overcharged, I think. Um, actually, actually, I think the, uh, the GTX 770 is the best sweet spot for price and performance. But because I had, uh, you know, that just free $500 basically to use, I was like, eh, let's, let's treat ourselves for once and bump it up a, a grade. So, so I got that 600-watt power supply. Now, I've never done this before. Uh, my extent of modifying computer components is switching out RAM, and I have switched out a video card once before, but I've never messed with a power supply. And i got to be honest, I'm really nervous about it. So... If you have any tips for upgrading the power supply on a computer, uh, let me know. And, because, I mean, I think I know. I mean, I mean I'm going to have like a, I'm going to wear one of those anti-static bracelets. Uh, and I, I have a toolkit already, and I think I can find a nice work area. And, but I, I think what one thing I was going to do is take pictures constantly while I unhook the current one so that I can see what everything was plugged into and make sure I don't forget. And that way I have reference photos to go back and say like, okay, what did that, what did that plug look like and where was it plugged into? Uh, that way, if, you know, worst case scenario, the new power supply won't fit or doesn't work. It should, it should fit. It's a Corsair 600 watt. And I looked online about upgrading, uh, the Asus, uh, CM 6850, uh, and I saw people talking about upgrading it. Is there a hold up here? Is somebody stuck? They can't get to him. He must be stuck. Let me just do that. There we go. Uh, control F4 is the, the cheat to knock out a random enemy. And I don't use it, but I do have it enabled in case uh, in case something gets stuck in a battle. It, it's rare, but it happens. And you saw he was stuck, and my guys couldn't pathfind to him. He probably fell off a wall in between some sort of uh, props, like a like a uh, like a, a market stall or maybe some boxes, you know, something like that, and got stuck behind him and couldn't get out or move. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, people have re upgraded the 6850 before with new stuff, so I'm pretty sure it'll work with a standard power supply. And it's there's not enough room in there for SLI. So I just I get to use just one card, but I really don't 
you know, have the money to spend right now for, you know, two brand new video cards, just one is already, you know, uh, pushing it. But the, the, uh, that, that seven, uh, that 780 I got also has, uh, I think it's like a ACX cooling on it. It's actually got an extra fan kit beyond the standard model. Uh, it's from EV, EVGA and all the reviews I read on it said it ran much cooler and quieter than the normal one. So I think that's really cool. Uh, especially for me as a YouTube partner, because I need to be talking here. My computer's right beside me. I don't need a really loud fan going, it, you get the idea. Uh, in a computer right next to me. It's, it's got to be, you know, any computer components I have need, need to be reasonably reasonably quiet, you know, because uh, background noise is a big concern for me as a YouTube partner. Uh, okay, so we kicked ass, took names. Uh, that was actually about as easy as I expected it. Uh, and I can upgrade these guys. So if you have any, any tips uh, beyond what I've said, you know, taking pictures of everything as I go to make sure I don't, uh, I can remember easily uh, where everything is hooked in. If you have any tips for upgrading the power supply, that's what I'm really worried about. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've done it before, if there's any stumbling blocks you ran into that maybe you have, a, you have some advice for. I'd love to hear about it. Um, I've searched YouTube already for, you know, um, how to upgrade a power supply or uh, advice on power supplies. And I've watched some people, you know, uh, take, the existing ones out and then install new ones. So I think it's it shouldn't be too hard. It's just I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous messing with all the power cables. Because like a, a video card, just pull it out, basically. Maybe unscrew it if it's screwed in. But beyond that, that's, you just pull it out and push put a new one in. Uh, but the power supply, there's all kinds of power cables, and I, I really don't know what they all do. So uh, I hope I can figure it out. Uh, but... But I'm really looking forward to to having this new video card because that's that five that little dinky 530 GT 530 is not very powerful and it's limited it's been limiting me uh, to what games I can play because obviously when you when you play a game and record the game at the same time you can't just meet the minimum requirements uh, running the recording software on top of the game you need a little extra machine power to make up the slack there because that's extra you're putting extra demand on your computer so I need I need a really beastie uh, PC that exceeds the games requirements so that I can smoothly record while playing uh, actually in a new computer my hypothetical new computer that I want one day I would really like uh, a six or eight core machine where I can actually be playing a game while rendering footage from something else, so I don't have to stop working. Because uh, rendering, you know, that... Well, I, I assume most of you have never rendered video footage before, but if you haven't, let me fill you in, it takes time. It takes a lot of time at some points. And I can't really... You know, my my CPU on my computer is maxed out. Um, and I can't really I can't really do much besides maybe browse the internet or watch videos. Uh, while I'm rendering a video. I've tried it before. I tried it with Rogue Legacy. I tried playing Rogue Legacy while rendering an episode of Rogue Legacy. And I think I even mentioned it in the time. And it you can tell you can tell the FPS gets really bad. And that's a very simple non-demanding game. It's like 2D sprite based game. Uh, so if, if if I had trouble with just that then you know I'm gonna have a lot more trouble with other stuff. Okay, let's see do, 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 do. There's somebody with one village, right? There you go. Uh, enjoy your new thing. Leave. Good lord, look at that spam. Okay, so we took Herringoth Castle. Uh, oh, man. Um, I may actually stop here for today, just because I won't... To, I wanted this video to be about talking about that video card, and I wanted to ask you guys advice about it. And I figured that this wasn't going to be a very hard castle to take, and it would be a good thing for me to talk about while uh, in the siege. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that's a good idea. But I, I really wanted to. There's like, there's some games like I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to do MechWarrior Online, although I haven't really played that game in forever uh, recently. 
they added they added third person mode, and I really feel like that pollutes the uh, immersion of the game. That's a first person only mech simulator. Uh, I really I'm not too thrilled about the third person in Mech Run Online, uh, but there but there are you know a lot of modern shooters maybe uh, more recent games Skyrim for example. Uh, I I really want to be able to present those games to you guys at their highest settings, make them look great, and be able to record them. And with this crappy little 530 card I have, that's you know not very realistic. Uh, so I, I've been needing to upgrade for a while, and this $500 gift card, you know, the the, the 780 I think cost me like $640, so $500 off that. So out of pocket is only like 140 bucks for me. So I'm getting, I ba- it's basically like getting a, a GT 780 for $140, which is an amazing deal. I love that. Um, so I can't wait to install that and see how. Uh, see how some of these games go. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. We knocked over Herringoth Castle very easily. Not much of a challenge there. But let me know in the comments if you have any experience installing power supplies, because I could really use your help with this. I've never done it before, and I'm honestly quite nervous about messing with it. Uh, but wish me wish me luck. Uh, the graphics card is going to get here in uh, maybe... 8 eight to 12 days, and I guess when it gets here, I'll take a crack at it. So I got some time to kill before it gets here. But um, I just put the order in a few hours ago before I started recording this, so it's still it's still fresh in my mind, uh, and I'm, I'm still a little jittery about it. I'll also, I'm really excited, though. I don't know if you can tell. I'm actually really excited because uh, this is a very high-end card, and I'm just thinking about all the games I can play, you know, with maxed out settings now, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of like, you know, Nerd, nerd excited, geeky excited. Look, yee, graphics card. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with power supplies, if there's any stumbling blocks that you've ran into that I can avoid. I greatly appreciate your feedback, and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, take it easy.